I was watching the Super Bowl last night, and man, they, they there's a bunch of trailers. And, you know, Deadpool 3, that looked good and all. A quiet place, where they come from, that looked good and all. But, man, when they dropped Twister with an S, Twisters, I can't even contain my joy. I mean, I just shut the game off and just watched the trailer over and over and over and over again and again and again. And, you know, over the years since uh, Twister came out, well, okay, so back it up a little bit here. Twister is the greatest movie of all time. I mean, it's a definitely the greatest storm movie of all time, but I personally, my personal belief is it's the greatest movie of all time. Um, but I had this feeling that with Twisters come out, uh, I hope it's like Empire Strikes Back. Star Wars is pretty good and all, but then, uh, but then Twisters, I mean, then Empire Strikes Back just took it to a, a on top of a whole new level. And I got this feeling that Twisters is going to do that. Because I don't know if y'all know this, but over the years, I, uh, you know, back after Twister come out, um, I must have sent, I don't know, 20, 20 screenplays to Steven Spielberg personally. I sent them and just said, hey, Steven, you know, what if we did this? And it would be like maybe like a scene of, and I gotta think, man, that they, they must have, I mean, it's gotta be some of my stuff in there. It has to be. I, it's too, it's twisters, man. It, my mind has just erupted into explosives because Twister was great because it built up to this one F5, which was a, you know, it was a pretty good storm and all, you know. I have personally ever been in an F5, personally, but, you know, they made it, it was pretty cool. Flying cows and flying truck and Dorothy's flu and all that, that was all good. Um, but then to have more than one, now I'm not a conspiracy type theorist, um, but years ago, sometime between like Twister and when they filmed Twisters, uh, do you read that story about how the Jews, um, were controlling the weather and, uh, now, and I love the Jewish people. This is not a, you know, anti-Semite type thing is I love Jewish people, man. I got lots of Jewish friends, like so I don't necessarily think it's true but when you think about it Steven Spielberg is a Jew right and and that's good you know he little you know, I'm a good and, and and dreidel and I love that I love Steven Spielberg Steven Spielberg made the greatest movie of all time Twister I mean my obvious but uh he's a Jew and then think about what has happened in the ensuing a uh, couple decades almost three since Twister you know, you think maybe he got some of his Jewish friends and like, they, cause how are you going to film a bunch of twisters, right? Like, how are you going to make a movie with multiple F-345s just going everywhere? I bet they did it, man. I bet, I bet he got together with some of his Jewish friends. I'd love to choose. And they, they filmed real tornadoes to make this movie. And just the thought of that, man, it, it, it gets me be pretty excited it does and this movie's coming out um and it says it's coming out in july and so i as for me and my home we will be watching it in imax uh i'm going to just buy like morning noon and night and just sit there and when that one's over i'm gonna be like go pee or, or, or go get some twizzlers or you know go look over my notes but then go right back in and sit it, and I'm gonna do it in that D-box, that chair that sit in like this, like this here, and then when the wind's blowing, the D-box chair, man, Twisters is a real movie that we all get, uh, it's kind of kind of cloudy up here. I don't know, man, that doesn't quite look tornadic, but truth is, I might be better. I might better focus on the road now.